the wow word today is serving. Serving God and serving other people is the mark of a spiritually mature Christian disciple. For it is through serving that the Christian disciple reflects the greatest servant of all, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to serve and to give his life for others. As followers and partakers of Jesus Christ, Christian disciples are to be as Jesus Christ and to serve. Yet if we are honest, we sometimes feel incapable of doing that. That is because we forget that God the Holy Spirit lives within us in order to empower us to obediently serve God and serve other people. As a Christian disciple, a partaker of Jesus Christ, you are called to a life of service, serving God and serving other people. Your church is to be a body of people where each person is to have a serving function, serving God and serving others. Why serve others? By serving others as a church, a group of people, it shows unity and solidarity to those outside of the church who frequently accuse the church of infighting and devouring one another. The Christian life is not to be static or inactive, but rather it is to be dynamic and active. The word servant is key in scripture. It is used at least 500 times in its various derivations. Spiritual growth comes from serving rather than from being served. This is because whatever is given in service of God and other people, faith grows and Jesus Christ gives back even more. Jesus speaking in Matthew 25 verse 15 to 30 tells of the rewards for faithful service and the penalties for being faithless. Serving others is a sign that you, as a Christian disciple, a partaker of Jesus, that you trust God and are having faith in him. In serving others, you fulfill the command that Jesus gave to love God and love others. Showing love and serving each other through your spiritual gifts and your giving achieves this aim of obedience to Jesus. As the church, like it or not, we are dependent upon each other just as one part of the human body has dependence on another part. That is why we serve each other and use the gifts generously given by God. When you as a disciple and partaker of Jesus Christ serve in any capacity, then God's honour is released. This is done because service shows the beauty and glory of Jesus Christ to those being served and to those looking on. That is to be our motive for service. As a Christian disciple, serving is never to be about what you can get out of it. Why is that? Because when that is the motive, God is patently not glorified. And God is a jealous God. As a Christian disciple, a partaker of Jesus Christ, and a follower of him, God's glory and supremacy is to be your goal, including your goal of service. How's that for a wow word?
How's that for a wow word?